गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन लर्निंग क्लास वी आर लर्निंग अबाउट द रिवॉल्ट ऑफ एटीन फिफ्टी सेवन मैनी हंड्रेड ईयर्स एगो इंडिया वॉज अ वेरी रिच कंट्री इट वॉज नोन फॉर इट्स कॉटन सिल्क्स हैंडीक्राफ्ट एंड स्पाइसिस इट हैड गुड ट्रेड विथ other countries now see the arrival of european traders about 500 years ago some european countries decided to trade with india the portuguese were the first among them they came to calicut which is in kerala they met the king and started their trading activities soon they became very rich now the dutch the french and the british also came to india with their ships all of them wanted to stabilize their trade in india they started fighting against each other at last the british drove away all other see children during the 15th and 16th centuries european traders started to get involved in the slave trade slavery changed when europeans became involved as it led to generation after generation of peoples being taken from their homelands and and slaved forever during the 15th and 16th centuries european traders started to get involved in the slave trade european traders had previously been interested in african nations and kingdoms such as ghana and mali due to their sophisticated trading networks traders then wanted to trade in human beings they took enslaved people from western africa to europe and the americas at first this was on quite a small scale but the slave trade grew during the 17th and 18th centuries as european countries conquered many of the caribbean islands and much of north and south america Europeans who settled in the Americas were lured by the idea of owning their own land and were reluctant to work for others convicts from Britain were sent to work on the plantations but there were never enough so to satisfy the tremendous demand for labor planters purchased slaves they wanted the enslaved people to work in mines and on tobacco plantation in south america and on sugar plantation in the west indies 
millions of africans were enslaved and forced across the atlantic to labor in plantation in the caribbean and america slavery changed when europeans became involved as it led to generation after generation of peoples being taken from their homelands and enslaved forever it led to people being legally defined as chattel slaves a chattel slave is an enslaved person who is owned forever and whose children and children's children are automatically enslaved chattel slaves are individuals treated as complete property to be bought and sold chattel slavery was supported and made legal by european governments and monarchs this type of enslavement was practiced in european colonies from the 16th century onwards europeans wanted lots of slaves so people were captured to be made slaves and slaved africans were transported huge distance to work they had no chance of returning home children whose parents were enslaved become slaves as well how were they enslaved the principal methods of enslaving africans were warfare raiding and kidnapping through people were enslaved through judicial processes depth and in regions with unstable rainfall level drought famine the degree of violence involved in enslaving people varied between region and through time warfare was a common source of slaves the gold coast the slave coast and raiding and kidnapping seemed to have predominated in the bight of bifra from where equino was exported although some of the enslaved were forced to travel along long distances to reach the coast the cost of moving slaves including the risk of death meant that the homeland of the majority of enslaved africans who were taken away by the british lay within a few hundred kilometers of the atlantic coast the largest of these forts was elmina in modern day ghana the fort had been fought over by the portuguese the dutch and finally the british at the height of the trade elmina housed 400 company personnel including the company director as well as 300 casual slave the whole commerce surrounding the slave trade had created a town outside the castle of about 1000 africans in other cases the enslaved africans were kept on board the ships until sufficient numbers were captured waiting perhaps for months in cramped condition before setting sail about 
फाइव हंड्रेड ईयर्स एगो यूरोपियन कंट्रीज डिसाइडेड टू ट्रेड विथ इंडिया एंड दे केम इन केरला एंड दे मेट द किंग एंड स्टार्टेड देयर ट्रेडिंग एक्टिविटीज नाउ द डच फ्रेंच एंड द ब्रिटिश ऑल्सो केम टू इंडिया विथ देयर शिप एंड ऑल ऑफ देम वॉन्टेड टू स्टेबलाइज देयर ट्रेड इन इंडिया एंड दे स्टार्ट फाइटिंग विथ ईच अदर एट लास्ट द ब्रिटिश ड्रोव अवे ऑल अदर स्लेव फोर्ट्स वर स्टेबलाइजिंग ऑल अलॉन्ग द कोस्ट ऑफ वेस्ट अफ्रीका to house captured africans in holding pens awaiting transport they were equipped with up to 100 guns and cannons to defend european interest on the coast by keeping competitors at bay there were approximately 80 castles dotted along the slave trading coast the forts had the same basic design with narrow windowless stone dugouts for captured africans and fine european residences that's all for today thank you students